Alrighty, here we are back at the Dark Valley. Uh, yesterday I posted a, well, I recorded a fairly long video about my impressions of the game and all the rest of it. I think uh, I'll probably just save that for another time or uh, let um, let my thoughts uh, mature on things a little bit. <clears throat> so what I wanted to do was just give you an update on where we're, where we're at with the Dark Valley. Uh, we're at the beginning of the 15th turn well, turn 15, which is the fourth turn in our uh, six turn case blue scenario. And you have a look at the middle of the map, and we're looking at uh, let's see, so to the right we have uh, Moscow here, and Leningrad is just up that way. And then kind of the central plain here, there's Voronezh here. Uh, trying to give you some reference points. There's uh, Rise on there, and then down here is Stalingrad, and way down here, of course, there's the Caucasus and Mykop and Grozny and stuff like that. So, and then Sevastopol in the far corner, which you can't really see. There it is down there, all the way down there. So, uh, Sevastopol has a fair chance of falling. Uh, although it's just kind of 50-50. Stalingrad will probably fall, um, just given the weight of forces I have there and the supply, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the supply I don't have. These guys are all gonna be out of supply this turn, unless I move this HQ back a couple of spaces, which you'll probably need to do. Uh, so it's very difficult to, uh, uh, because of how I've moved, managed my supply hubs, these mobile supply units, and not been able to clear this area here. There was a little pocket breakout here. Uh, and these guys are going to get ready to move because I'm trying to bring as much force down here as I can. Um, because I haven't been able to move these as uh, easily as I would have liked, I'm having some challenges uh, with supply for the the Axis forces. Uh, it's the end, as I said, it's the end of the 14th turn, beginning of the 15th. I've got a few bits and pieces to do in terms of wrapping up this turn. But um, we're now down to the point where we switch from having two Panzer headquarters a turn to use to just one. And uh, previously, I, I think if I had been smart about this, or smarter, uh, the HQ down here, I would have had a, uh, perhaps the second or third Panzer HQ that would, uh, because there's two of them, I could have had double turns and, uh, and done more down in the Stalingrad area to try and, uh, you know, bring that, uh, bring some force to bear in this area. But because I, I pulled the Northern, uh, HQ out uh, and brought it down here um, at the beginning of the game, you know, that was a mistake. I should have the second or the third and then had the fourth further up here. I also did not manage well, I did not manage the uh, the mobile supply units well enough. It's, and it's hard to do that because you don't know when the, the logistics chip is going to pop up. You don't know how far you can or can't push, and if you don't push hard enough and risk being put out of supply, then you're not you're just not going to fulfill the victory conditions. And as it is, <coughs> as it is, I don't see uh, the Germans making it this time. Although they have a very they have a good shot at it, I think the best they could potentially do is pick up the 37 victory point condition to win that way. They start with 31, they need to pick up six. Uh, with a really good push here, uh, we go to mixed weather this turn, but with uh, mixed and mud, I think I could take most of these forces and try and get to Gorky or Ivanov uh, there, uh, while um, potentially uh, taking Pan the third Panzer Corps and making a rush for there's two little towns here, Engels on the Volga, uh, the Volga River. So, uh, yeah, they're out of picture right here. If I picked up those and one of um, the makeup, uh, one of the, the VP hexes over here, um, then I think that's almost enough to get us to where we need to be. Ideally, you'd have to get Sevastopol, though, to make it a lock for the, uh, for the scenario. 
But uh, I think due to uh, more to, due to poor play than anything else uh, in terms of uh, planning for the Germans, we have not done a good job of uh, of keeping my forces optimized to be moving. I haven't taken as much advantage of the uh, zone of control units that I could have. You know, these guys will probably break out of this uh, this um, situation here this turn because. I had a last activation and uh, had two activations last turn, and so I used the second Panzer just to move it closer to these units so that I could uh, get us all into into uh, activation range for the next turn. Uh, the Soviets tried a couple of counterattacks in a couple of areas. I just think perhaps they weren't uh, uh, resolute enough or uh, or strong enough, and just the roles just weren't working for me on that second combat table. So that was. Uh, that was a little bit rough. Make sure that I talk on correctly there. Yeah, yeah. Ten, seven, nine. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that all makes sense. So there you go. So that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, I'm I'm not sure I'm going to play another turn. We'll see. I don't think I can get to the victory conditions. Uh, just, I think there's a chance for the Germans to do it. At this point of the game, given that uh, I really needed to have put my mobile supply units in better locations and uh, and plan this a little better, I'm kind of I'm trying to kind of play the catch up game here, and it's uh, it's not working real well. So uh, we're probably going to call this one. Uh, I'll, I'll probably maybe I'll play one more turn. We'll see. Why not? Right? Well, no, unless we play it. Anyway, uh, it's probably late. Need to go to bed. I'll talk to you soon.